So we need to make sure that we put pr premium on the word. Well, I believe the Bible. Wonderful. Now put it inside your heart. Amen. Because let me just get a, I'm going to share this now. The Bible says in Romans 12, you're transformed by the renewing of our mind, by changing the way we think. The change in the way we think and how we view things, various aspect of life, even how we view God. It's important. Sometimes we don't come to God boldly because we think, God, you, can, you, you control everything. You do whatever, whatever you want to do. I guess it's okay. Whatever happens must be your will. That is not the Bible. Huh, There's a thief out there trying to come steal, on. kill, and destroy, and that's not the will of God for you. Amen. To, to destroy your life. Whatever happens, it must be. No, you got to stop the devil. Amen. And the Bible talks about authority, operate, op exercising your rights. Yeah. It's in Luke 10, 19. Amen. It says, behold, I give unto you authority. The tread, that means to walk on serpents and scorpions. Those are demons yeah. that come against you. Yeah. And, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Mm. So if I'm being hurt, it's not God's fault. It's because I'm not exercising my right or my authority to say no to the devil. Oh, come Amen. on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. But if we don't know that's in the Bible, we make poor decisions. We decide, like we hear some radio program, what we think. Well, God, he's there. He, he made everything. God gave you a free will. Yeah. Look in Deuteronomy 30, 19. I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. By the way, I give you the answer to the test. Choose life. Choose life. That you and your seed, your children shall live. God wants you to make some decisions based on his will. And then we know we heard God properly because it's in line and confirms what he says in the scriptures. How do we know? What does the Bible say? Amen. What's in the book? What did God speak in chapter and verse? Without it, we just think we know. And these voices that dominate our thinking, we, everywhere we go in society, we see voices and images, and it communicates to us, oftentimes not the will of God. Amen. We need to have an answer to it. Yes. Or else we'll, we'll chime in with the crowd. We'll chime in with everybody else is saying and thinking. And so my point is, let the word of God be the final authority in our lives. Say the final authority in our lives.